So I picked up this antique china cabinet from a wonderful client of mine. I mean, it was bad. It had been setting up for about 20 years. All of the veneer was buckling. It had trim missing. The doors were warped. I mean, when I brought it home, I mean, and did an assessment of it, it was horrible. So the next step was to physically clean out and do a, um, I guess, a list of everything that I needed to do. So once I started looking over the piece, I noticed that, I mean, it was to the point to where I had to rebuild almost every aspect of the china cabinet. It was really bad. So next I began to label all of the drawers and the doors to ensure that when I remove the doors, I put them back in their proper places. This is essential when it comes to reestablishing the piece. Next I began to look at the, the drawers and the face framing doors to see if they were aligned correctly and if everything was in order. I had to remove the drawers just to see if the joinery was still in place. All of the dovetails, whether if it had dowels, if they needed any glue up. I mean, this piece was bad. It had been sitting up for about 20 years. So it had all kind of critters inside. I had to vacuum it out and clean it with Murphy's oil soap. I mean, it was real bad. <clears throat> the next step, I took my heat gun and gently began to remove the veneer on the sides. And with this step, you have to be really, really, really careful because when you're talking about pieces of veneer that's almost 100 years old, one of the aspects of the bill is I wanted to keep as much of the original veneer as possible. So removing the veneer, you have to be really, really, really careful. But I got it. I got it and I began to label the veneer where it went, on what side I took it off of. As I got ready to do another assessment on the condition of the veneer, up under the veneer, the cherry wood was pretty good. Certain areas of the piece needed to be re-glued, re-clamped, reassessed. And then I began to cut the veneer for the sides and the fronts and the pieces that needed to be replaced. This was a tedious process. So I removed the back of the piece, exposing the bones and the shelving. And I began to re-glue all of the sides, all of the veneer that was buckling. I mean, the glue up was very tedious so what I what I used was straight edge knives and also a bread plant pan knife to get inside of the veneer in order to get the glue in between the cherry panels and the outer veneer to be able to continue on with the glue up the sides I began to clamp down the sides they were falling apart these are pictures of the glue and straight edge putty knives that I used to glue up certain areas. I began to take notes on every piece of the project that I touched with my hands. The glue up, the veneer, the missing pieces, the buckling pieces. And so this is a picture of the unit with glue up laying on its side and all of the panels that I had to touch with the glue. I use straight edge boards to put additional pressure on the areas that I glued. And I use Bessie clamps. I use Irwin clamps. I pretty much used every clamp that I had in the shop to be able to glue up this piece. But I continued to find other pieces that needed to be glued up. And so here I began to assess the doors to see if I could use the existing doors but the doors were warped, so I had to cut new doors. Here you see the piece standing up. It's beginning to take shape, but it still needs a lot of, lot of work. More clamping, more gluing, more clamping, more gluing. This was a tedious process. So as I began to make progress on repairing all of the panels, 
and on regluing all of the areas that needed additional veneer. I began to see the light at the end of the road. So I began to move on to the main doors of the project. They were in bad, bad, bad shape. Look at all of the veneer that I had to peel off of the doors and off of the pieces. So as I reinforced the back with additional screws and additional finishing nails, I set the project up and I began to address every panel again to see if I needed to do additional work. And then I moved toward the doors. I began to see that the doors were so warped that I could possibly not use these doors. So I began to scrape all of the old veneer off of the doors to be able to get ready to measure and to cut the new doors. So I began to glue up by putting glue on the outer side of the door and to begin to cut the veneer in order to put the facing on the doors. I used cherry veneer from Rockler Woodworking in Garland, Texas. It's a good spot if you're ever looking for any type of woodworking projects or any type of woodworking tools, visit Rockler. So here we see the piece standing up. It's nearing the end, but we still need a lot, a lot of work, especially on the doors, the face fronts. And so what I did next was I went over the piece again, I believe with about 600 grit sandpaper, wet sanding all of the panels resanding all of the panels just to make sure everything was safe everything was secure and everything was in order and then i began to apply the georgian cherry gel stain and so next i moved to the hardware this hardware was over 100 years old and it was in bad 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 shape and i soaked them in vinegar on the stove for about three hours and I began to use my Dremel tool with a wire brush to remove all of the old debris from the uh, hardware. Now you see a before and after pick of the hardware. So here you have the piece again, standing up end over end as I begin to put everything back into place. Everything is taking shape and everything is in order. I begin to spray the doors. I begin to spray the unit again with the cherry gel stain. I began to reassemble the, the face frame doors and all of the doors on the bottom and all of the cabinet drawers. And so now you see the piece complete, but not complete. I began to rub it down with fine grit steel wool and beeswax. And so here we go, the delivery date. I wrapped her up with moving blankets, All right, so put her back on the trailer three months later after I received it, delivered this gorgeous, restored antique china cabinet to a fabulous client. This piece took a lot of work, a lot of glue, a lot of time, but we made it. So thanks for watching. And please visit us again at www.jamesshavers.com for more pics, vids, and additional woodworking information and projects. God bless. Thanks again.